zero. <laughs> Booty bump. Look at that. You called it right on time, right as soon as it parked itself right there in the chat. It is the North Table on RealLibertyMedia.com, R-L-M-Radio.X-Y-Z, with Flash Somebody and me, Vinny PG. Yo. Hello, Flash. Yo. Hi. Yeah, we're here at the Dork Table. I, I always get a giggle out of naming it that. Anyway, the Dork Table is the RealLibertyMedia.com today. Mm-hmm. Where almost any topic can be had for your listening approval. Anyway, hey, Grimner, how you doing out there? And uh, we got bots and bodies hanging around in the chat room for your reading entertainment. You want to say hey? You want to hey. do, do them there, no. Vincent? No, you, do do it. you do it. You I'm I gonna, always do it. You do it. I'm going to do, do the, the bots and the bodies. Uh, do it. Do it. Okay, we got Barman, Beetle, Cowboy, Tech, Grimner, Moose Girl, Kate, Prince, Anti, Chalice, Doni, Echelon, Java Doctor, 2 J, Dread, Meister, Brow, Ponder, Candor, Poopster, Rob Wirtz, Roams, Vanna White, Vin E, P, G, Weather Dork, Phantom, Asmo 2, Chaskira Circle, hello honey, Cyborg Noodle D, the Dork Cakes, he just showed up. Mm. I missed oh, the timing. He, he, he got two minutes faster than I predicted. I'm telling you. Ensive, me, frumpy, frumpy work, too, grommet. Jays, nines, jays, kiss, left over crack. Pone size, sock puppet, Salt Lake City, Mike, Slim Jim, Flim, smart ass, the holiest Roger, and Zipix. Zipix. Good. Those are those are the people that are entertaining in the real liberty media dot com today. If a Roger comes along, <clears throat> you must zip it. I don't want to do that. Zip it. No, I'm gonna unzip it. Fuck you. Zip, 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 I'm gonna zip, do it zip, my zip, way. Zip. And today today's show is entitled on uh, the thirtieth, the last day of November here in two zero one nine, and it's called. A few things that need cages. I can think of a few. You're welcome. You, sir, need a cage. You're a wild man. Me? Oh, yeah, that's what I am, wild man. Mm. Lock him up. So, me and Vinny were chatting before the show about this really interesting political topic. And I thought we would bring it to the door table. And we called it, Assuming the Sale, You Must Be a Democrat. <laughs> Go ahead yeah. and explain that one, Vinny. Yeah. So my buddy says I'm a Democrat. ISIS. I'm not a Democrat. You wait, you said you're from ISIS? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See this uh, supposed Slow down and line. speak English, Vinny. Okay. You, you threw uh, well, me off. Well, I was there. listening to the cleverly. It thanks Moose Girl for uh for that link. Uh I'm a loser baby. The cleverly, yeah, it's the back cover, and uh, so I I opened up another list, and I didn't even know these guys was from around here. Turns out they are just from across the river from from me over here, uh, not far from Fox, and uh, I go up to Fox on the uh, on the wheelie on the the buggy, the four wheeler, the big one, and yeah, back roads cross the river up and down. If the river's up, you can't get across type of place here in the in the world, right? Anyways, they talk uh, they talk like me, kind of. Yeah, but that story you were telling me about your neighbor. About, yeah, my friend. Well, whatever you want to call that. Yeah. With friends like that, you don't need politicians. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Hey, uh, try to put me in a box, say I'm a Democrat because I hate Trump. <laughs> Why, wait a minute. You can't hate Trump. You don't even know Trump. How can you? Hate Listen, him? I hated Trump before uh, Trump was popular. Why I mean, would you? Why? Why, Benny? Why? 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 Did you ever watched him on that? You're fired. No, I've actually never watched him, but I do remember seeing TV commercials promoting his crap. But nah, the sight of Donald Trump makes me want to retch. 
I'm sorry, well, but no, that all that clean, all that clean haircut, shaven face, you know, suit and tie wearing, slick willy shit, that really rubs me wrong. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Get this part. So hmm. I try to have a logical oh. discussion with this guy about the Democrats and the Republicans, <laughs> and him thinking, blah blah blah. Uh, well, wait, wait. Well, Define wait blah blah blah. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. This part right here. He's like, uh, I'm telling him about Bush. And the Clintons being crime partners in Mina. Oh, well, they're not. There's no famous thing about Bushes in Mina. I said, where you been? I said, we got a friend up here at the end of the roads is related cousin to, to Lassiter, Dan Lassiter. Or Lassiter, if you're a Yankee, I guess you pronounce it Lassiter, but uh, that's not the way they say it around here. Anyways. No, no facts or information. It's all about feeling good. Yeah, I feel good because Trump, he's, he's, he's of the people, the first American citizen elected president and shit like that. Oh, man, it makes me sick. People don't get it. No, they don't. I, I understand that. Yeah. Hey, so either you're against me or, or you're with me. You know, it's a you're two sides of the Democrat yeah. or Republican. I said, I'm an anarchist. You don't even know what an anarchist is. <laughs> you can't make up words. <laughs> anarchist does not mean that, I mean, by my definition, that means people don't come in and apply arbitrarily that have no, you know, wrong, wrong rules. There's right rules and there's wrong rules. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 yes. whoa, whoa. Okay, yes. all right. Wrong now, wait, rules. wait, wait, wait. Wait. Wrong rules go to the cage. Okay. But, then, well, but like I was saying to you before the show, Vince, there's more to that, right? There's the there's the rules that we all already know is wrong, that we don't really need to have written them, have them written down to tell us not to do them. We already know they're wrong. So the point of writing them down and then voting on a punishment for this particular problem or that one, that's... Uh, <laughs> That's got nothing to do with uh, what we think it has to do with. It's just a way to, to make money off another thing. It's a business. Because we don't need to be told not to kill each other. But when somebody does, then, you know, the vultures come out and want a piece of it. Uh, fire in the hole. I know, man. You both at the same time. What luck? Oh, you like the pork, he says yeah. to Mr. Woody. Uh, apparently, this Thanksgiving thing goes for a few days afterward. Uh, yeah, it's my my big Thanksgiving is tomorrow. Mm. That's Oh, man, there's going to be cakes, cakes and pie. Yeah. Oh, uh, turkey not, and not my thing. And stuffing and dressing and gravy and taters and giblets. and good. But is there going to be weed? Is there going to be Lots weed? Fuck the yeah. food. Is there going yes. to be weed? That's yes. what I'd want to go for. Yes, there will be. But cakes and all that. How much of that shit can you eat before you're sick of it? Mm, you lot. gluttonous bastard. A lot. Anyway, so a few things that need cages. And you were talking about your neighbor that says you're a Republican because you don't fluff the orange head. So, well, listen, whoa. first thing to remember, are you, the, are, you, are, you, are, you, are you are you indeed a Democrat, sir? <laughs> he's, he's a narcissist, and the first <laughs> rule of dealing with narcissists is to never tell them that they're an idiot and they're wrong. He has no problem with being a, a narcissist, you know. Does he's he know what it of, means, or does he think it's like a fancy palm tree trimmer, you know? <laughs> Yeah, I tree I trimmed those in in Hawaii back in seventy five. <laughs> the narcissist tree, right? <laughs> Close yeah. enough. <laughs> Never mind. Well, just people think if you don't know anything about something that they can tell you anything. And they just come up with some real interesting story. <clears throat> well, you know, that's mm. the problem. If people are ill informed. Yeah. Oh yeah. And, and then they want to have an opinion about something. Ah, uh, here we go. An opinion is nothing more than how you <clears throat> feel about something. So that, quit using that as a, they're not represented by fact. 
They're represented by the way their dick feels when they look at a picture. And if you think that's a fact, <laughs> oh, well, things change. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. I was having fun. With you. Well, I mean, what are you going to do? Not pay too much attention to all the uh, political shit. Tell you Kill that. them or leave it alone. I mean, that's that's all you can do. Kill it or leave it alone. What pushes people to make that kind of verbal stand about something as unimportant in your daily life as government? Well, you know, I I look at myself of having stood up against the the wrongs in life. Hmm. And yeah. For him, for him to even think to, to suggest that I was a Democrat, <laughs> and of late, that's the people that I might say I stand most, most in opposition with. But then the Republicans now, on the on the extreme other side, I'm just against them as well. You know, the Trump lovers that think it's okay to. Well, I I seen a, I saw a meme. I think it was yesterday. Uh, it says they're talking about these extreme right, and I think they might have been talking about Christians or I don't remember Republicans. But anyways, that group that classes together to the far side on the right over there that uh, would would say I would uh, kill or die to defend my child, and then want to uh, say how wrong it is for somebody from Mexico and want to come up here in America for you know better lives for themselves and their children, right? Build a wall type of stuff. And what Whereas, about it? Well, where does all this kind of talk come from in the first place? Well, if you had mold, would you want to, what would you want to do? Eliminate the mold, the problem that gives you whatever, the allergy or something? Hmm. That That's where we ought to be seeking what sends everybody <laughs> up here to America. because Oh, the advertisements involved. to come to America to get welfare. That's well, what it I, is. That's how, you, do, how else do you fucking explain... People from other countries that don't speak no fucking English end up in America. That's where I'd like all to know how somebody gets an illegal, so-called illegal alien gets welfare because there's lots of paperwork involved in that to file. Yeah, but it's easier for them because they don't have the damn state paperwork. That's the whole point. The winner is the one without the ID, not the other way around. Man. Having the ID works against you. That's what the ID is for. It is to keep track of the stock, not to help it any. And what happened, I think, is the lack of legal paperwork is how you beat them. Not to having the legal paperwork puts you in admiralty court fighting well, them. And I don't know how you come up with all that. I don't see any because example of well, proof. Because 30 fucking million of people are living in the country I came from that didn't go there the way that I came to where I'm at. That's how I fucking came to it. Well, how do they get, what do they get? Food stamps? They're what not they on. They get medical. I, yeah. I get, you're saying, because people keep saying the same stuff. They come here for the welfare. What do they receive and how do they receive it? I think the problem. You've got to have paperwork to file, that, file okay. a, uh, you know, a claim with the government. You can't I, just go in there and say, hi, my name is, uh, and I just maybe change some letters. Okay, my name. well, there's two answers to that. The first one is fucking magic. And the other one is. These people are responding to advertisements in their home countries. Because you don't just wake up in a foreign country and then all of a sudden decide, oh, I'm going to go somewhere I've never been before and start a life. You know how life. hard it is to get here to, to cross so-called illegally? Yep. You know how hard, how expensive it is? to. Yeah. People don't just come here on a whim. I hitchhiked, I hitchhiked from San Diego to Baja and then back up to to San Diego again in the 90s. In, uh, that was a pretty interesting little trip. And it was a long way. I mean, it's very barren. There's not a lot going on in Baja. Or there wasn't in the 90s. I've been down a little ways. been down to uh, Ensenada, up in the mountains from there to uh, Agua Caliente. I was a pretty cool little but thought up there. But still, Vinny, it would be like me waking up in the morning tomorrow and then finding my way to some fucking place in Africa. Because how would I know to go there? See, people have to instruct you. These things don't just you don't just you wake up. You have to have a reason to go. I mean, it, right. they don't just they, they said no. Hmm. 
They're bait and switch. They want this. The, the government wants this nightmare. Come on. Name one thing that the government tells you that about itself that's ever proven to be true. Nothing. It's always full of shit. Every fucking time. Well, uh, who? How does the who government what? tell you something? Through the who? press and the the media, the television, the, the normal ways, the banking system, I suppose. Yeah. Well, I don't comply with the state, so I'm not the best person to ask about. I'm going off memories from when I was in the state thing, years and years and years ago. But no more. I'm finished with all that. Well, I'm part of the state system, I guess. The Social Security disability. Is that welfare? Fuck no, welfare. Well, And then you get... You got to remember, too, this welfare thing was a government idea project from the Democrats. They wanted that. As soon as they shot Kennedy, man, Johnson couldn't sign that fucking document fast enough. The war on poverty, yeah, we always know how that goes. And he's on film saying, I will have these niggers voting for us for 40 years. And that's the way he talked. Johnson. Uh, Didn't uh, F. Was it Franklin Delano Roosevelt? Truman. That uh, started the uh, the Social Security system? The 32 or 30. I guess you could do a little looking while you we're doing the show if you want to. I don't know. I think it was in the 30s, though. But yeah. Truman or the Roosevelt, PR. yeah, that era, that period. I'm not a history buff like you read. Remember it all off my mind. Hell, half the time, I don't know what day it is today here at the dark table, Vinny. <laughs> but all, you know all these stories we've been told over the lifetime some of them have been like part true and some of them have been com- just complete and total bullshit and the only thing that was true about it was they got the name of the guy that was murdered correct but they didn't get the killer right they didn't get the reason he was killed right so these things, when they throw it, when they throw you like little bits and pieces, I think it throws us off balance to get half a story. There must be something to the vibration, the wavelength, the way it hits you. You know what I mean? Eh, eh, eh. Uh, well, the way I, that well, weed we, hits you. Are uh, you a, reading your little chatty room stuff, you it, tramp? Uh, yes, yes, a minute ago. Now I'm over here. Mm. It says Social Security. It's Ooh. a short history. Yeah. A short a short history of the program. Um, the Social Security Act was signed into law by President Roosevelt on August the 14th of 1935, addition, in addition to several uh, provisions for general welfare. So there's more to that. Then. When the disability part came a part of it, I'm not sure. Yeah, you know, then there's so many rules and regulations over the 200 and something years. Who Who could really figure all that shit out? It's too big. It's too. It's out of control. Something this big can't be managed properly. You're just gonna have nothing but thieves and liars, and storytellers, and oil, you know, snake oil salesmen. And that's what we right. have. And we all seem to agree with that part. The part we don't all seem to agree with is that the people that are responsible are us, and the people that want it done are they're the ones that keep getting elected. Selected, voted for, supported by the the public. People don't want to say no. They're afraid of what. What will we do? Whoa! Who's going to build the roads? Who cares? I mean, if life is that fucking bad already, what what more is a road going to help? You know? Well. Hey, let's say, let's look at that. Who'll build the roads? I mean, if we now nah, we've looked at that fifty times. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. If we transitioned into a society that was not based on uh, um, uh, the destruction, you know, what you got to uh, destroy for uh, use it up, burn it up, um, build it cheap, you know, just in time and uh, planned obsolescence and all that. But let's say. We transformed into a, a true anarchical society where people were free to do as they will without uh, harm to others or property. Well, we've already got roads, you know, so we're there with them. And then who would maintain them? Mm-hmm. Uh, on like the road where I live at, it goes and it yeah. dead ends. 
a few miles back up here in their hills. But, hey, I guarantee you, if the county didn't come out here screwing the road up all the time like they do, then uh, I know that we'd have a better road because people out here, myself included, used to do uh, uh, partial maintenance anyways. On my section of it, I did my own part. Do it yourself. County, leave it alone. Yeah, I said leave it alone. Took me a lot of work to get it to this point for you to come in here and screw it up. Well, there's a lot of masons here on the street I live on. Yeah, do yeah, they, they have secret handshakes and everything? Well, the, no, I'm talking about the actually doing know. the mason work on yeah, the, the bricks. I, I was I was pulling your leg. Yeah, well, okay. With the yeah, was, uh, yeah. I don't pulling know. Pulling your leg, handshake. but <laughs> but there's it's November tomorrow or it's november now it's gonna be december tomorrow and these guys have been working since summertime and they're working they were working today that's an american working no not working american they're not i don't think they're danes excuse me two days after right but i don't think they're danish either but uh they were doing the stonework and the concrete work around this uh porch and so they made it in brick and then plastered over it. And it's, you know, they know how to do this crap when it's 30 degrees. And they're building a, then they built a wood fence all up, on the whole side of it. I'll take some pictures of it with my, put them on RLO sometime this week. But I haven't uh, been over there in a little while. Yeah, me I neither. I, I, I just RLM to the chat. And I do a little bit of mines and then I play a lot of video games when I'm on the computer. But uh, I don't know. Too yeah, much. Big... I, I don't just people don't. Uh, I don't do well with other people like yourself with these conversations that they want to have with me. And I tried to tell them, you know, in the first place, let's not talk about this. You don't want. You don't want to listen. You just want to talk, and I don't want to hear that. So. I'm gonna write. I gotta write that down where I don't get that. That's what, what I'm gonna have to use. The very words you said. Let's not talk about this. Well, Say it again. So I'm gonna uh, put that in my mind because that was really good. I don't want to talk about this because you don't want to discuss it properly. No, you said it different. No, well, I, like I said is they don't want to listen. They, they just, don't want to listen. They just want to talk about it. Just want to talk about but it. But not. Yeah. But not, not actually. Informedly. Yeah, but not talk. They want to tell you how wonderful their side or whatever great things they got to tell you. I want when, to tell you on it. But when it comes to the, the bad side of, well, but what about this part of that? They don't want to hear that shit. They don't got nothing to say. Right. Yeah. Then it's back then, to. Then start hollering, talking over you and crap. Story, yeah, what story or argument. I whoop your ass, boy. You yeah. don't hear what I got to say. Can well, I call you an idiot and say you're ill-informed? And you're gonna get mad about it? Me? Oh, you Not can you. you can call me that if you want. Oh, Not really. you. Yeah, but I don't Not really you. I don't really care anymore. What? Uh, to, see, look, I, it's hard to fucking do all the time, but I got it figured out, right? It only bothers me if I allow it to bother me. So it's like, sir, I no, sir can't say anything that really bothers me unless I want to be bothered by it. It's a choice you make. And I think it works with everybody. And some people, it, it's like you're the guy you're arguing with. Some people don't listen, but they sure like to talk. Yeah. It, in the argument, because I say so, that makes <laughs> sense. No, it doesn't work. No, it doesn't work. Okay. It doesn't, no. And if you don't know that about me, you, then you probably don't even know me. No, but it brings, us, it brings us back to the rules thing where... And this I is, got wrong. okay, right, right, right. But here's what I'm trying to, to explain w without knowing how to say it openly. You kind of did for me with your friend, right? And it, it comes out like this: because I'm against you is the problem. There you go. That's it. It being against somebody, there you're never going to be on the right, you know, uh, frequency with them. So you're always going to be uncomfortable, say mean things, or say dumb things, or whatever gets whoever pissed. If you get against me, I'm going to shove you off and just get it, get off of me, right? Okay, Don't but get to, up on me. You want to be against me? What? Yeah, I said, it's not a line. It, it, it's not a line. Called you a Democrat. It's fear. He called you a Democrat. I'm a Democrat. I'm not a Democrat. No, you're no, not a Democrat. No, 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 no. 
Do I, no. do Democrats have some philosophical ideas that I agree with? Yes. Do they have some that I disagree with? Yes. yes. <laughs> Same thing here. Yeah. But that does well, agreeing with an idea doesn't put you well. <clears throat> see, there's the consensus that we live with is that you join this side with this opinion about this thing that for one fucking does have goddamn thing to do with you in the first place, but it touches you inside somehow, like the abortion crap, right? And people get all fucking worked up and argumentative and up in a hoopla about something that at that moment in their days, it's just a, a sentence in the air hitting them. You know, you're reading it on a screen or you hear it in your headphones or wherever, but where's the reality? We're so sensitive to words, Vincent. It's sad. Got to grow out of that somehow. There's got to be a way to unconnect you know, from that, being insulted by stupid shit. And maybe that is the insult, is that it's so stupid you can't believe you read it. <laughs> or heard it. Or, yeah, same thing. Yeah. Well, and, yeah. and then it's like, you ever catch somebody and they say something and then they go, oh, no, no, oh yeah, uh, yeah, oops, I cannot unsay that. I know. I just said you're right, right? <laughs> <laughs> Not really. I don't argue a whole lot about politics. I don't really care. I don't believe in politics. I think politics is the... Well, it's like Carlin said. It's the uh, comedy division of the military-industrial complex. It's, it, serves, it keeps you distracted from what's really happening. And these people lie to us about everything. For years and years and years. And then one day, a whistleblower puts some shit up on the internet. And blah, 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 blah. You see? And for all you know, the guy that they're claiming is some great informer is going along with a bigger plan. And there's, you know, there is no informer. We're just being told shit. Because nothing ever comes of any of it. Even this climate shit, you know, this climate change crap with the Greta and Trump and all and, but on a personal level, really, where is it? You know, are you building freaking a windmill in your backyard or anything there, dude? To save the world or what? 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 What are you doing? Uh, you know what? Did I leave it open? I just saw something that was pretty cool. It was getting power off of a speaker and a spark plug. And a friend of mine uh, showed me yesterday. He was looking at a YouTube video, and this guy took a compressor. Did all kinds of modification drills, hold, put three spark plugs in it in uh, a little fuel tank, and yeah, it's pretty cool. There's all different types of ways of making or capturing energy, right? But oh hell yeah, so, are you kidding me? And that's and what I'm. Okay. a switch. But right? Vince, 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 see, this is what I mean about the society that we come from has limited our collective intelligence with all these limits that we have. Well, we can only do this and we can only do that when the reality of what's happened over life is they hid the ancient ways that worked miracles and they, they use these cheaper, shittier versions so they can make a, a, a disposable product that'll last you three months. Instead of one that'll last you 30 years, they make you know one that lasts you 30 days. <laughs> I don't have the other link for the compressor <laughs> engine, but here's the one I haven't watched yet. New free energy generator coil. It looked interesting. I was going to look at it. Well, it is interesting to the you know to the dorks. It, that's what we are. We're kind of funny like that. We're interested in the weird stuff, like uh, why somebody would call you a, a, a Democrat because you don't want to be on his side team <laughs> there's only two sides and you gotta pick one no I don't I don't well yeah. I, I took my nut picking to a fucking extreme then didn't I <laughs> well the only people sometimes you got to you know I mean I don't know I just let somebody be an idiot the I only guess. people I argue with are on the internet outside of that I have a, a argument free life What do you think of that there, Basco Tacoma? 
So I don't know. I just over here. Are you are chat. you reading the chat? Oh I no. Am. G Rock, watch me pose that bad in my head. <laughs> Nothing in my sleeve. Presto. Well, Ooh, I need to be a bigger hat. Anyway, what? I was stalling I, until you're done reading there, I, mister. I was oh, entertaining myself with, oh, thank you. with memories of Bullwinkle. All right, I took my glasses back off. Bullwinkle. Man, I got a. So you cool. ever wake up and, like, you had the. No. Like, got a. Rub your eyes and you like rub an eyelash into your eyeball and it's like there for a day or something. No, like, oh, yeah. my eyeball. No, I don't do ridiculous things of that nature. It was not on purpose. Well, yeah, but see, I wear glasses, eyeglasses, so I instinctively. When you sleep? No, when I see. So I don't put my fucking hands in my eyes when I wake up. Put my glasses. You don't rub your on. eyes. No. When you wake up. No, really? I open them and look out of them. It's very, really? I suppose it's unique. I read your species was capable of doing that. Weirdo. You got to do everything all dramatic. Can't you just like breathe like everybody How else do you just wait? once? I just thought everybody woke up that way. Of course you did. Wow. Talk about having an ego. That's what I keep telling you, Vinny. It's You. There ain't nobody else on the planet except you. You you just take it to an extreme. I if you had a donkey, would you name it Ego or Iago? No. Nah. What would I name it? I, no, no, no. Don I'd name it Donkey like in Shrek. I like that Shrek. That was a good cartoon. Cervantes Mount or Don Quixote or Don Quixote. Uh, 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 uh. uh oh. I'm laughing at Moosey. Wow. Distracted. Oh yeah, what Shoot. was I gonna do? Here I here, I took this I took this from you. Me? Yes. It's and I adapted it and uh, I paraphrased plagiarized. Oh. Uh, let's see, what what was what it? Did oh. you come up with Chef Boy R D? <laughs> let's see. <laughs> did it simmer for three hours under funk and wagnalls? Since Let's noon today, nobody has seen the inside. Okay. Go ahead. I'm Let's trying see it. to... No, what? What? Let's see if it works. What are you trying to do? Where's Vanna? I don't know. Oh, the, the Vanna the bot? Of an ass, yeah. Okay, Vanna she the working? bot would be in real she's liberty. She's working. She's clocked in. Uh-oh. Grimner. Uh-oh. I broke it. Did I spell squote? I don't know. But... Yeah, you wrote "squote jaw of an ass." Yeah, but wow. what happened Why to Vanna? Squote? I don't know. Hey, Grimner, where did you put Vanna? Get Van. Hey, maybe maybe Goober. Hey, she's uh, slacking off. Can I maybe, can I get it up here far enough? Goober no. snatched Vanna and they're off in a closet somewhere. Who knows? I can't. I'm truncated. I can't get. Let me go try to ponder Gander and see if I can get back without being truncated. Oh, okay. Oh, crap. No, because I got let's bucked out. Oh, wait. Take Long a spot. look at the notes. And the notes tell us today. Well, boys and girls, today is Yeah, that's notes. one of the things I want in the cage, sir. Please. Hey, you know what I want to talk to you about, mister? And I'm going to hold you responsible for this for the rest of your life. You are? Yep. And we'll start with Senate Pensions. And I think all that crap should stop. All of it. Government. Pay, I think me. the government should work for free. Crap. I don't. I think that the government should not only work there for free, but they should pay their own fucking way while they work for free, and really support their government instead of this get in the government and fuck everybody with law and make money off it while you're doing it, which is what really is happening. Let's have some real, you know, and I figured out a way to do it, too. But nobody will go along with me. I'm so sad. I'm a sad little dork. Uh -huh. and, but you know how you know how you clean up the system? You start out at the bottom. If all the small little places all across the whole United States were run by honest men and women, then the bigger places wouldn't get to be cesspools because they would get what they got. 
So that means that the corruption is coming from the bottom up instead of the top down. Which is the way it looks. It looks as though the rich are all corrupt. and No, even poor people are corrupt. Poor people are even cheaper to corrupt than rich people. So, hmm, let us ponder. It's, or, uh, or, it's, it's or, how the system set up then, right? Or, it's to draw those people in. Or threatened Venice. Kill the cause. But not, well. you can bribe somebody or you can also threaten them into doing things. And these ideas, when they get exposed, it's always like a sensational thing in the news, right? Instead, it should be taught as this is how you identify people's behavior. <laughs> because we could do these things. A guy will act a certain way if he broke a, you know, broke a rule. Look for that. No, what do they do? They search everybody. See, it, it's it's a con gun. It, it's a, it's a scam. It's a fucking it's a hustle to make money off a collective that is too ignorant to say no. <laughs> I ain't putting up with this shit. So, hmm, there you go. And as, right. as the populations get bigger, the ability to say no gets smaller. Whoops. Well, uh, I have ranted. Oh, oh, crap. What happened? <laughs> ah. Oh, crap. What? Buttons. I hit buttons. I didn't mean. So there's, uh -oh. there's, there's this quote. Do you like it? What? Uh, this quote. Understand. Did I? Did I? Yeah. The jawbone of an ass is a oh, devastating weapon. The paraphrased plagiarist added by Ponder Andrew. That one? What? That's yeah, what I read. Let me see if I can go back. Oh. Uh, I, I forgot Is I was going to get I found it over yeah. as a thunder gander oh. so I got to I got to go find it because you said something and I that's did. where I got it ah, I said something I, I took it and Ooh. I put it together with something else. oh you add yeah you added on to an existing piece of work yeah I like to yeah, and, yeah. Samson I, used the jawbone of an ass to slay the Philistines well then let's go for the top five things that need cages and I but, remember but, earlier, but wait, Grimner no, said... Before we go to the cages, I, but, let me finish with this ass. Ass. Oh, I thought you were Stop. finished. Okay. No, and so the double Vinny entendre, is playing right? with his ass on the, the door double, table. The double entendre, the jawbone of an ass, is a devastating weapon. Back into, not the actual weapon in your hand, but the uh, jaw muscles, right? The person speaking, the jawbone of an ass. Get it? Ha ha ha. Yeah, I I do, but I'm now, out, that, I'm busy right now. I'm looking for the rest of that where I got that. You said something. Why? 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 I lost my place. Oh, I go back we're still stuck on that. Okay. Yeah. Well, I in the meantime, well, we're a little bit ahead of the people on the RLM chat, but we got Grim on that when he said statist. We're just looking for the top five things that seem to need a cage. And uh, we're free people, too. But I'll bet even we could find something to complain about if we think hard enough about it. Because <laughs> I don't like to do harm to people. Uh, but if you do me harm, and... Hmm, see, I don't know. It hasn't happened in so long. I don't know what I... I'm kind of old now, so I don't... I'm not the same person in the first place. So the life, you know, the life things that you draw as you age change. 30 years ago, I'd have been really arguing with Vinny about something. Now we just banter on the freaking radio. I don't okay. even give a shit anymore. I, I've got what? context what? for this. Got what? What? I've got context to fit, fill oh, in the okay. gaps here. So you said something about Sunday being the Sabbath. Yeah. And I said Sunday is the first day of the week. Hmm. And I said, you get an F for Jewability. <laughs> yeah. Right? So, yeah, and I remember that. <laughs> then you said something about me throwing about Jew bones. Throwing Jew bones. <laughs> yeah. And I came with jaw bones. <laughs> Jew bones. <laughs> You're throwing Jew bones at me or something. Yeah. Yeah, so. I, but, yeah you get an F in Jewability. Oh, that's okay. I don't really care. But see, that's where I finally... It's hard to, as hell to do a, every moment of fucking day, but I'm telling you, Vinny, if you can get in control of that moment where you can look at something and really understand, you're seeing it the way you want to, no matter what that person's doing, just like your buddy giving you shit about being a Democrat, 
no matter how you slice that cake, he wasn't being an idiot. You invited an idiotic conversation and should have dodged it. Yeah, but... No, no, no. Because there was, uh, there was uh, alcohol involved. He some, was drunk. Yeah, there you go. But some people... Yeah. Want, yeah, but add alcohol, but still. I some was. people are ill-equipped to have a decent conversation with somebody like yourself about politics because, for one, you know more than they do about it. They know what they've seen or been told. You stepped a little bit further into the game. You Like Mary. Mary got in there and ran for a freaking office in the local city council. And she is not one of the people that so much taught me, but she convinced me that the people that told me the local politicians are corrupt. Mary will back that up. And not all of them, but if you want to survive, if you want to continue on, if you start out and you have a short you run, play the game, right? Yeah, chances. That's how it works. Are, well, just like a football team, want to be, huh? Yeah. If you can't play yeah. on the fucking team the way the coach wants you to, what do they do? Two sides. There you go. Right. The, you with me or you against me? And that's wow. Okay. Well, I I think there's a better way. I really do. And it takes a lot of a, a attention, you know, to me, not to you, but pay attention to myself instead of uh, the other person being, you know, how aggravated or whatever. I did something wrong or whatever the fuck their problem may be. I said something they don't like, for example. Right. And they get all mad back. Well, hey, how I take that is up to me. Mm. But when you're getting emotional, it's hard to hold that. Hard for me when I'm getting emotional. Not you, but it's hard to hold that concept when I'm, my mind is being uh, sidetracked and persuaded. Because I'm like that. I'm easy. Yeah, hey, you say something and I go, hey, what's that? <laughs> Words. Sometimes I wonder if people really, really got to work as hard as they do to be ignorant. Ah, Well, give me an example exactly. Be specific with that one, because that's... I don't know what that means, so it doesn't mean nothing. Hmm. Yeah. If you don't know what it means, Hmm. what? Well, I do, but it's kind of pompous to be looking down your nose at people, because they have outdated ideas of living that control me and do nothing to them, you know? Because they're, they're always the ones that are a victim of something bigger, you know, government crap, uh, in, illegal aliens and shit like that, taxes, all this crap. But they want me to be locked up because I smoke pot. And they're out hey. there. Hey, there's lots of them, and they're still out there. That's cool, Lucy. Is that uh, uh, Seattle, wait. the space hey, deal, right? changing the subject. You, hey, on guess, the what? Uh, guess what? Guess uh, what? Yeah, I'm distracted. There's a squirrel. I don't guess what? The you see the dark side of the moon right there. No. That side of the moon is dark. No. Can you see it or not? No. I didn't open anything. I'll open it, though. Hmm. Do it. Do I it. was ranting about something. Fuck. Now you're interrupting my cool rant, so I can't look at a picture. Uh, well, you I, just... Kill or no, capture. It's a crescent moon, you Or brand. let him go. That's a cre- we need to let him go. Who? Free. It, that should free. be. Uh, yeah, free the ducks. Free the idiots. Free the idiots. Wow, yeah. wait a minute. Squackers. Wow, 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 wow. Quackers and quackers. What, what, was it, what, does it, what is a parrot? What is their noise? What is it, it called? Do, uh, call? Call, call. Crow's call, right? But it serves no purpose to do that thing. Why not find an answer to the problem? Sometimes I like to fight. That's why. Ah, well then there you go. See uh, that he says he says cross this line right here and I <laughs> stepped right over and I put my dukes up. Yeah. See that now listen. Hmm. If you if you let somebody push you around, yep. then they think they can do it all the time. Yep. Now even if you go up and say I know this is going to hurt because he's a big old boy, but hmm. I'm right. Like, Come on, give it to me. Come on, let's go, boy. Hmm. Thank you, Missy. Oh, that's so cool. are are you giving me are you giving me life lessons on the dark table, Vinny? About being Maybe. bullied by bigger people. I'm not people? a teacher. I'm not a teacher. Yeah. I'm just sharing my experience. Yeah, life. but see, I've been bullied by people your size since I was a child. I don't get bullied. And well, yeah, people like you bully. 
I listen to you, bully. I'm not bully. You're still a fucking bully. bully. Shut well, up. Not the last couple of seasons. I, I, I don't like this. <laughs> See, I told you. <laughs> you big dumb ass. Uh, anyway. I'll get my jawbone to working on you, boy. Well, I'll tell you, the one thing I know you'll never do is try to pitch me to be a part of some mental game that I don't want to be a part of. And that's how I see politics. Some kind of mind fuck. Like, it's like religion or, or I graduated from a certain school. Those kind of things. Okay, you're going to... Need to speak tune. I, I'm going to tune you up. I think it's out of tune. Yeah, a little bit. You know what? But I've been having fun with this. You're, yeah, you're breaking my heart right now, though, Vince. I'll get you a violin. Oh, play. yeah. Violin. I'm going to get a violin and bash you upside the skull with it. Dueling violins. <laughs> anyway. So, Did you listen to the music? No. The Christmas? No, yeah, I knew no, you would, no, no, no. You're no. screwed. You're yeah, me and Cirque. Me and Cirque were Cirque was couch, on her couch doing her crochet. And, and I was sitting here reading, and I said, he's playing uh, green, bluegrass uh, Christmas music. And we, we were watching a film instead. But I was keeping up with you on the chat. It's not like, you know, just, it's a matter of taste, Vince. It's all it is. Nobody's right. Nobody's wrong. It's just you like this color and I like that color. So Set simple. Up. There's only blue. <laughs> exactly. And it's so simple, you know. And we just got to be freaking in the right groups or like. You got to like the shit I like. I, fuck. If me and Cirque depended on that, we would have never got together. Because there's a lot of areas in life where we're separate. We don't like the same things. We come from different cultures. Well, I'm glad that you're impressed with that, Mr. LOL Vinny PG. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, uh, I take my glasses off. My, my I got quit rubbing it. My eye, my oh, eye. your eye, your eye. Well, yeah. that's because you just... out of there. I got it lucky. out of there, but I scratched it a little bit. You know, yeah. all the rubbing. Yeah. Well, I don't know. You didn't like my questions today, so we'll go on some. Ask else. me another one. Ask me another you one. You ever see a movie called Idiocracy? Uh, I think I have. It's supposed to have been a parody, a pun, a, p- a poke at it, but it was actually or a mock of uh, the future. Mockumentary. Yeah. yeah, about the future and the reason that the guy they're claiming the reason the guy got away with doing it the way he did it was he made the smart couple Jews, or the Jews would have never allowed him to make the movie in the first place. But the smart couple that was going to have the kid but never did. And then he dies, and then she's still alive, and she's going to... What's the name of it? Idiocracy? Idiocracy. It's not really a good film. It's just the idea that went into the movie was that they're going to breed the intelligence out of humanity over the next generations coming. And then, yeah, and the smartest guy in the world would be not know anything more than me. You know? And you know how... Watch it on YouTube for $3.99. Yeah, oh boy. But uh well, it looks like a good movie. Well, it, I don't know if yeah, I have seen it. It's well, it's it's short of a B movie. It's it's the idea behind sometimes the story is better than the filming, you know, or the acting. I think I have seen it. Yeah, but it's, I Maybe. get I get that I get that way about a movie. Sometimes I'll tolerate something that's not filmed well because the story's good. Or Vice versa. Look, it was filmed really well, but they told a shitty story. Yeah. And we all have those ideas go through our minds. Oh, well, maybe not all of us. Some of us do. Probably here at the table. All right, here's uh, right. at 38 seconds in. It says the English language has deteriorated into a hybrid of hillbilly, valley girl, inner city slang, and various grunts. <clears throat> <clears throat> Mm. That sounds interesting. Mm. Uh, so, can you do the uh, tool, uh, him, the tool guy? No. What is it? No. Are, are Are you a well trained uh, voter, Vinny? Huh? Are you a well trained voter? No. Hmm. No. Really? 
I've never even ridden a train if you count like uh, hopping a freight. So you okay? Not I'm only so you, jollies. You're I also, got my jollies on the trolley. So you're I'm, you're well, also a member of the I don't now nor have I ever voted club. Yeah. Ne- Never, ever, ever. It's a very small, well, it's a small club because we, the people that don't do it basically don't spend their time hanging around on the internet. On top of that. Th- and this, educating themselves? No, they'd be living their freaking life away from all this crap. There are folks that do that. Well, I believe you. Yeah, I I would assume, I mean, not from the results that I see, but from common sense would dictate that because of the lack of people that are doing it, there's got to be a lot of people doing it differently. The electronic world takes a lot of resources, you know, and shit to keep you connected all the time. So if this is the road that you're on, then... That's one thing, but then there's another road you could be on if you want to. Hey, I want to put this in the notes. This what? what uh oh, he's adding to the I notes. Want, yeah, yeah, this is what I want to put in here. Yeah. This quote that I that I did. Oh no, this quote. Oh Lord, help us. This quote. Well, say it right. Can't you send it to Grim after the show and let him add it or something? Don't do yeah, this to do. me now, because I don't know how to I add. Do. Yeah. I gotta type it in on that. Watch this. Make Watch. I'm gonna cheat. Hmm. Watch. I'm gonna cheat. He's cheating, people, right in front of you. Vinny the cheater. Hold on, I gotta back up. But Yogi, Mr. Ranger, isn't going to like this. Hey, fuck the Ranger, boo I'm hungry. Where's it at? I don't know. What are you looking for? Uh, uh, I am thinking of looking for it, but uh, I can both hands on. We got a hand on each cheek. Uh, I can see that strange character. What are we gonna do about him? Anyway, don't make me get what. I'm gonna be clever. We're well, gonna be clever again. Remember what happened the last time you were clever? No, that guy in Ohio's garage door still goes oh. up and down every time you think. Anyway, I started typing clever instead of the word I was. Because I was listening to you and my fingers was typing your words. Nah. <laughs> Let's expose some corruption. Is that not the most ignorant thing that you can possibly think at this time in history? That, Say it again. that you could expose corruption. How do you. I how get do you, it. Well, well, uh, uh, uh. Okay, and 20 years from now, the results will prove that. But right now, Vincent, today, you have done fuck all. That is my personal argument. That is why I detest government. Man, I would have been threatened by government. Though. And they drag things down the fucking government road forever. To employees. Say, hey, yeah. There, look. See yeah. what I did? No. I will give Grimner your message as soon as I can. No, oh I, wait. I made up a new no. deal. The jawbone no. of an ass is a devastating weapon, baby. That's right. I smack you right in the head with my jawbone. <laughs> Are you saying words can kill Vincent? They can be devastating. Mm-hmm. Yes, and words can yeah, kill. Yeah, they you can. And get you sure. get you killed. killed. Yeah. Yeah, sure. like, yeah, uh, sure. You get a piss of people off with the words. They get a very sensitive. And they want to kill you like you know, and do all that ninja oh, shit. Well, Stomp now I've got to, I've got got to uh, add this to it because this is what I say. What? This is a this is a quote from me. Mm. I don't know if I need to capitalize it all. Still quote the same damn quote. You've been working on it the whole show. Hey, you know what I saw the other day? A Rob what? Zombie film. You know what it was oh, called? Cool. Halloween what? Two. But you know what it was? What? The worst Rob Zombie film ever made. Terrible. Halloween 2. The fuck did you... What? What? What aren't you hearing, Vinny? Halloween Halloween 2. I saw it it the other day. It was terrible. And it was terrible because he did such good stuff when he was learning and experimenting. 
And I think he got to the point now in his career where there's nothing left but reruns. So the Halloween 2 was terrible. I don't even like those kind of movies. No, I, I like the good killer films. So I'm very numb to the life. doesn't matter to me. No, really, I mean, just movies. Circuit's all sensitive, but hey. But still, Rob Zombie did some really good uh, horror films. I Grimner would probably appreciate my... Uh, I like The Devil's Rejects. I like The House of a Thousand Corpses. But I even liked Halloween. But the second one, oh my goodness, Rob, put the camera down and step away from the bank account, pal. You're, you're cheating us now. It's one of those things. You know, people outlive their creativity, but their name still sells shit, so they, they do it. They do it for the money, baby. The money, money, money. And if you've ever seen a, a pictures of Rob Zombie's house, it's like in Connecticut or some damn place. Some yuppie. It looks like uh, nobody lives in it. Just terrible. Anyway, I've never seen it. I, I have. I wasn't. I was killing time while you were doing whatever you're doing. There. Jawbone of the ass boy. That's, that's yeah. That's what I wanted. My portion. Okay. I was jawboning on your ass there, Vinny. <laughs> what? Can you can you grab that from here, Grimner? Uh, oh, can Grim grab put it? In, yeah. For are you? He can. I, I don't know how to Ooh, copy duck, that. Duck, I can't. Duck, 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 duck. Fuck the duck in the eye. Ah. <sighs> I shot Ladies myself and in the gentlemen, foot. Benny shot himself in the foot. We'll be away from the radio for just a moment. Grimner got Stay my tuned duck. as the scene develops. Uh, stupid duck. Hey. Grimner's got 2,001 ducks. Mm. You know, I had my ducks all lined up in a row with some fish. I've got a duck. Be quiet. Fish row. I have a duck. Yeah, I had 550, 500, 550. That was the numbers between two channels of uh, killer capture. <laughs> and you know what we ought to do? We ought to talk about... Give me a about, nickname. Now, Give me another nick. We ought to, five, now, you've got wow. enough of those. We ought to talk about the important shit, like weird things to shave with. Uh, I was thinking about this just the other day, actually. Really? Why? Could you, could you use a seashell or a flint? Because I don't like the beard. No, I, I let it grow so far, and then I cut it, it off. It would make it would make sense to me as somebody that has facial hair that whatever the beginning of that shaving crap was had to be with a straight razor. Nothing else makes any sense. Why would you put a dull razor to that you know to your face? So you need a sharp, sharp, sharp blade. But where does it come from? What did Romans shave with? I don't know. I wasn't around. Were you around? I thought Jesus had a beard. Has. Wait a minute. It, 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 it. Didn't the Jesus dude have a beard and long hair? <laughs> See, all this shaven and short hair crap, where does it come from? And what would the, you know, if, you, if you've ever been, like, outdoors, like you, you've been outdoors where you can't get to a damn uh, bathroom for a week. The Romans used uh, a Roman razor, surprisingly. A Not Roman a razor. Okay, but still. It was made out of iron. Iron. So it's probably the quality of a straight razor. I mean, they've been sharpening blades for thousands of years and killing each yeah. other with them. So shaving. wonder where shaving originated and why anybody would think of fucking doing it or cutting their hair. Cutting my hair, it makes me just, I don't like it. So I don't. Neither does Cirque. Cirque's been cool about it. She's got hair down to way well. She's got a lot of hair. <laughs> Here's one about women shaving their legs. <laughs> uh, <coughs> history of women and shaving. So uh, it gets higher and higher. Hmm. Here's one the history of shaving today, found out. When did women and men start shaving different parts? Because like European women, they don't shave under their arms and legs mostly, I think. It's an American thing there. <laughs> I'm playing with the RLM chat. Thank you, sir. <laughs> uh, here's women were... What? 
using dangerous substances like arsenic and quicklime to get the job done. Meanwhile, the Egyptians, who never did anything halfway, removed all their body hair from head to toe. Huh. Well, Being hairless discouraged the spread of disease and vermin and lice and other icky, creepy crawlers. There you go. By 5,000 B.C., when a Roman ladies had learned to use pumice stones. See, not to mention, whatever oils and uh, natural whatevers were available in the time were what people did. And those things have been erased or rewritten, so we don't know what they are. That's pretty funny right here. Okay. Well, I was on a roll there, but never mind. Yeah, Vinny's reading. He's reading the chat. You're doing good. You're doing good. I was doing trying good. to be all intelligent and stuff here on the dark table. Anyway. So you can can you shave the jaw of an ass? Oh fuck yeah! Hey ass sir. Bone? Oh yeah. Hi sure. sir. You can shave the jaw of an ass. I don't the see the ass bone of a jaw. Well, the ass bone of a Jew. Is what I wrote. <laughs> well, Samson was and uh, was he Jewish? Who in knows? Israel? Who cares? It, it, there was no Israel until 1947. Israeli? Please. Uh, Israel. Was a long time. Yeah, but Israel's a fantasy of. Became a state in 1948. Uh, it became a state, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and then the, please. And now they're a nation. I don't and now No, they're, they're a born. nation state, uh, please. They're a. They're a nipple off the American udder. That's what they are. You buy one, you buy them both. It seems to work that way. They're like uh, they're holdouts to the United Nations on, on uh, human what, rights. What was this? It, it was the human rights yeah. issue about uh, trying to remember which issue it was, and it's gone. Settlement is legal. Oh, the right? settlements in yeah, the occupation or that the, yeah. Well, Trump reversed. The the last president that said something like in the 80s or 70s or whatever that said the, the the settlements are illegal. Now Trump went against it. Trump and Israel are going, no, they're not illegal. Everybody else says so, but not them too. So they continue. What? A It'll bu- soon be illegal to even suggest such a thing as oh, yeah, it not yeah. being legal. Yeah, they're working on it. Generation at a time, and in a hundred years, it'll just be Israel and six white people. <laughs> I meant to save something over on Twitter. <laughs> the Jews know, are going to. I thought I remember it. The Jews oh, you know are going to have whiteies for slaves in the future. Hey, when they take oh. over, are are you going to be Jewish or are you going to be American? Do I have a choice. I got to what? Either one or the other. Why wouldn't you have a choice? It's all made up, Vince. What what the fuck difference does it make? If you believe this crazy shit that we all talk about is true or real, well, something's wrong. <laughs> oh, you know, the other day, somebody posted, oh, it was Donna Van Meter. She posted an old Johnny Carson link from 1984. Johnny Carson was punking Prince Andrew in 1984 on his show about I watched it. Yeah, about being a pedophile. pedophile. <laughs> you say it how you want. I say it how I want. We got the point. Don't correct me, mister. What are you, the you grammar know, Nazi sign? <laughs> talk, talk smack about English accents, but sometimes they actually say the word right, and the uh, Americans say it wrong. It's their language, you idiot. Of course they say it right. Yeah, well, I speak American, though. I don't. So speak do English. I. Yeah, I know. So do I. I lived in England. The English don't speak English. Uh, I'm telling you, it's uh, it's like being in uh, hell, to be honest with you. The accent, after a while, go, grows weary, and I, I miss those wacky Americans. <laughs> you know? Every once in a while, it's, it's fun to hear somebody park the car. <laughs> You know, Las Vegas has been my second home since. Yes, Vinny, I'm very well aware of that. You're and so majesty. I would go during the summer and uh, go out to my mom's and uh, uh, people would say, say something, say something. That, yeah, because your accent. Because yeah. you talk like a raven lunatic from some southern state where they hang black people <laughs> off of trees. 
rednecks, son no, of a bitch. There's, they don't do that around here. There's not even any black people around here. That's because you hung them all, son. You done, you done good work. Good work of the Lord was Shut done. Up. That's, that's evil. <laughs> Evil. I you bet. So what? I'm getting having fun on the radio. Don't don't judge me. We have we don't have judge like me. Handful. Hey, almost I'm, all white around here. I'm gonna judge you. He, listen, so even the handful. brown people claim to be white. Hmm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah there's yeah. a lot of a lot of people like yeah. like my my friend hmm. Daniel. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure he knows who Danny is. Ah. He can eat. Listen, he can eat hot peppers like yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, chilies yeah. like nobody's business. Yeah. He's brown. Yeah, but he says he's white. Yeah. Then kid, he come over. Yeah, and I and I got to him to actually come out and say that his parents <laughs> were Mexican <laughs> and his and his wife says they're not Mexican. <laughs> Hey. His daughter, I think, is nine or ten years old, and she says, Daddy, you're not white. You're black because you're brown. You're, that makes you black. And he says, You look just like me. You're black too, then. Uh, I <laughs> see you're, you're telling me a picture in words that's just not being painted very well, Vince. You really? lost Brown it. people, yeah. even brown yeah, people brown here people. are white. White. Even the brown people here are white. Yeah. To who? To themselves. <laughs> oh, see, because how would what? how would you recognize there's a difference if you didn't know there was a difference? You wouldn't like know it. Like talking suntans and tanning booths. No, I'm talking about on. being so innocent and ignorant to somebody else that you wouldn't notice there was an opposite difference to the two of you. Like your skin is completely pale white, and theirs is dark. Mine's not pale white. Mine is. Then how can you be a Semite? Well, I'm not pink, but I'm I'm darker than so to me I'm white. I don't know. I, th- I don't think I'm very dark. Am I? I'm fa- fairly. You're, you're pretty white, white, right? You're pretty white. You're so white huh? you don't even know you're white. Now that's privilege. <laughs> Well, I'm white enough so that white people don't question my whitiness. But I'm not white enough that the brown people don't give a shit about my whitiness. And the ones that do, eh, it's not very rare. But racists are available if you look hard enough to find one in any color. But recognizing in a difference in, in skin mm. color doesn't make you a racist. What makes you a racist is putting down a whole country because you had an argument with one of their people and you lost. And you went, hey, well, I'll fuck their whole country every time I think of them. Those damn Mexicans are all pieces of shit. All however many million of them there are. <laughs> like, like Canada or America or Denmark, North Carolina. I hate everybody in that state because their football team sucks. I lost a hundred dollars. You, you, you don't like the Tar Heels. See, I I don't give a flying fuck for any of that. I was listening to the 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 uh, Cleverly's. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Moosey. That was that was a good one. And I found out, and this is going to have to add to my project here that uh, on the uh, origins <laughs> of the Beverly Hillbillies. But let me digress. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they they come from right around just across the river. It ain't very far as the crow flies from here to there. Uh, and they he give a stand up comedy and playing music and stuff. Um, it, it was pretty funny. But he's talking about their accents and this and that. And, uh, but I think I did this accent before where you hold your tongue because it's hillbilly <laughs> accent. It's prevalent in certain places and by some folks now. Mr. Huey down uh, down the road, he's uh, he's all uh, calls in to the trading post, a radio program, a selling thing. He said, he said, Sid, Sid's a guy's name that owns the station. He says, Sid, I got some way of him for sale. Sid says, what do they weigh? He said, why do they weigh eggs? Weighing, laying hens. Uh-huh. Now, you want to, well, you want to make fun of my accent. Wow. <laughs> I don't even know what you said. I see there. I'm I'm completely I've lost. I thought you were going Danish on me. Wait, let me try it. I thought I've got some laying hens for sale. 
laying hen. Laying hens, yeah. Not a partridge in a pear tree. Yeah, but this is the modern day, and not a lot of people buy those eggs that way anymore. Bosco, most of us have given into the state and get them from the local supplier at stores of some kind. You know, have what? you ever seen a, a farm fresh egg cracked in a bowl next to a store bought egg? Oh, crying out loud! I don't. Why would I? Pay? I if I have it, didn't get my attention. It's not like, hey, thanks to talk about. Remember that time that. Crack that egg in the bowl? <laughs> no, Vinny. <laughs> Not well, a hobby of mine. Are, uh, yolk is really pale, and you'll you'll see the richness. Oh, the oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I like the difference yeah. between a duck egg and a chicken egg. No. Well, it's the same thing. One's orange you and buy, the other one's yellow. Well, I'm talking chicken egg strictly. I'm not. Yeah, but I'm orange. using it as a, another way to explain a, it because yeah, I'm a not, city not boy. A good, no, hey, it doesn't work. I'm the city boy here, no, not you. I, no, no. Yep. No. I was no, born no, in the city. No. Oh, yeah. Hey, the Freakers Ball podcast mm-hmm. is up on YouTube. Uh, me, Walmart. I, I, sir got up, the fish. Sir got it before me today, but I, got up for, I slept through it. I got up for about half of the show. About the last half, I think. Yeah, I was giving grim grief on the keyboard. Half awake. <laughs> uh... But, I should have a notice. Why isn't uh, giving me notice? I don't know. What do you want notice for? Why are we there having two different conversations? Because I'm I'm uh, looking at these things. Uh, the computer talks to you. Faking at the fakers bar. Shut the door. I clicked on the here's the link. Yeah. It, like just a little extra long on purpose though. Mm. Let me take it over. Yeah, I got to catch up. Listen. Yeah, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to devote my life to Greta. That's terrible. I woke up about three in the morning and... uh, I'm going to become a climate change activist tomorrow. I saw your your link to me, Lucy, even though Barman was... uh, Hey, I'm making a declaration about my future on the radio and stuff. No, you can't. (laughs) Why, you Put don't think I'd make a good follower? Put it in a cage. Hey, lock it up. I could follow what? as good as you can. can? <laughs> I could follow you're better a, than you. <laughs> you're a can. You are a can, sir. Oh, God. That just came out well, like that. Baking soda will fix that shit right up. Anyway. Well, I don't know. See, you, that shit. You'll be bubbling at the nose. Me and, me and Mary were talking about how. How the stories about history have been. Oh, elixir. Thank you, dear. How the uh, uh, thank you so how, close. The, how the stories of history have been perverted to sell you modern day shit that doesn't work, and people think that's the story, not not the reality of it. The reality is, okay. we ended up with second rate shit. How did we get here? <laughs> They've had an engine that runs on fucking water for a long time, and we're still fighting in the Middle East over who owns oil. <laughs> you got Trump. You got Trump promising we're going to drill more and be more self-reliant. <laughs> you don't even need it in the first place. What you need is the fucking truth. And you know what we don't have? Vinny, do you know what we don't have? The fucking truth. Ouch, you knew. Ouch. See, and having the information, what good does it do you? You know, we're not smarter than anybody. You know that shit you get accused of? That's what the dork table was about. Is being accused of shit, oh. like yourself, being accused of being Democrat, because you won't suck on the Trump knob. Well, that doesn't make you a Democrat. That makes you not a follower of the Trump. Big deal. And even if you are, how does that improve the Trump thing or change it in any fucking way. I don't understand. Makes no sense to me. 320 million people think they got a fucking say in this illusion that has a life of its own, basically. It does what it wants to. Just lies to you during the course, because you can't do anything about a crime until the crime's been committed. So you get to do the crime first, and then if you do the big enough crime, you spend 20 years in court fighting about whether you committed a crime. There you go. It's a fucking game. We're all like, and we all support it. 
when we buy shit. And when you try to tell people that, they, they're all for it. And then Thanksgiving comes and everybody goes to Walmart for the shit they need at the last minute. And keep the fucking beast going instead of starving it. Ah, go without Thanksgiving. Fuck Thanksgiving. Who gives a shit about Thanksgiving? It's a big contest to see who ate the most food. Wow. Oh, I'm a winner. Okay, I'm but winner. see, that's what I mean, Vinny. It, it's, the concept I, is it's I so, yeah, but it's so far from the story they tell. The reality of what it is isn't nothing to do with being free or growing food and sharing your knowledge with your friends. It's about being a pig and getting the fucking most. And that's the part of Thanksgiving that I just, I, it repels me. Every fucking year I read the same shit on the internet about, oh, I can't eat, move, I ate so much. What? I don't understand the purpose or the goal of the activity. It's ridiculous to me. But the, I'm the m m minority in that particular. Very few people agree with me. But what? Hey, uh, give me a minute. I'll be right back. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. Thanks. But, you know, to. To pretend that, you know, we're all going to get along on this one day and then people get around each other. They get drunk and shoot each other because, like Vinny and his friend, they don't agree about political sides. And, wow, it's the same damn shit. I don't know why you can't figure that part out. One side's in power for four, eight, four years or eight years, and then the other side is. And while one side is in power, People that make the decisions are of the opposing side. So there's never a balance. And when there is a balance, well, there's 12 guys available to vote. And you get stuck with some of the worst fucking shit that you can imagine. And they get away with it. How they get away with this, I don't know. We have Federal Reserve banks ruining our life collectively. And... Where's the resistance to any of this shit? You can't resist. If you resist, you fight with somebody over toilet paper on a mountain with a bear. <laughs> hey, I want that rabbit. <laughs> so, you know, hey, did I stall long enough for you? Yeah, my my buddy ran, ran a rabbit over last night. Mm. He said, you want to eat that thing? I said, no, nah, I'll leave it for the crows. They got to eat, too. Yeah. Oh, uh, you're good to the animals. That's very nice. I'm good to the plants. I should have got them and brought them here. Like oh. Where I feed my crows. I I, yeah. They come down Hindsight. Or, yeah. I used to, uh, when I was in Arizona, I, I would uh, uh, feed the, uh, encourage the uh, critters. There was a lot of rabbits. like So I would like, I'm not like a murderer, but I would end their lives. To feed the uh, other animals, and I'd watch them come. A coyote, uh, bobcat came. Yeah. There's all kinds of cool critters out there. But uh, so I I wanted to because I fed the rabbits and they come up and the quail and other stuff. And they just come right up. But I uh, this sounds so cruel. Mm. But it, hey, have you ever had your ear pierced? Hey, what I read what? Have you ever had your ear pierced? Oh yeah. Uh, so I mean, it's not that bad, right? No. Right. Well, no I pierced break, the ear. Basically. I, I, I wanted to not kill. I wanted to make sure I had certain friends that, that came up to eat, and I didn't kill them. Rabbits, talking about. So I marked them. Yeah, but you got to understand when I did through their ears. Hey, hey, when I did the ear ear thing, that was back in the early seventies when it pissed all the grown ups off. You know, they got weird about well, it, and by the but by the time I was a grown up. Grown-ups were doing it, and it, it, it lost it lost the shock appeal to it. You know, it was because yeah. I was like I don't know, a teenager. I don't remember how old I was. Could have been probably about four times, so seventeen, eighteen, somewhere in there. And it was still enough to piss off the grown-ups. I pierced mine, or I didn't. I had help with a piercing stud. Yeah, it's like trying to. Uh, old girlfriend, she got about halfway through and couldn't get it out of the way. Well, it's just so weird. My, uh, my like, gym coach, my gym coach, he finished it for me. Well, the time my dad seen it, he <laughs> says, uh, "He says, are you going to take that out or am I?" Wow, really? Yeah. No, you know, I, I, my, my folks let up on me. I think the last time my dad got physical was, uh, I just 
had <clears throat> turned 15. I was about 15 and a half or so, right in that area. And I was That's about how old I was. Yeah, I was doing some really not 14, cool 15. things with some some other fellas that he he told me to stay the fuck away from. Him. And I wouldn't listen. Hey. So anyway, what he ended up doing is he sat me on the hood of my car and he cut all my hair off. Just jacked my hair up. So I went, hmm, I don't what? think we're going to do this. Any-. Well, he, he didn't hit me, though. So I went, well, this is I, I'm step forward. Right now. What? You know what time it is? 420. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. if you can pronounce that word, Hagatna. I don't, I don't see it. Uh, Where is it? <clears throat> it's in the chat. In the chat. Under what? It's a lot of chat. I just posted. Uh, I don't what see I anything. Posted. You don't see the 420 when I just posted. Oh, barman passes out. Yeah, Join some no, carnival I got, bud. I do this deal. The 420 report. Dot 420 vine time fire in the hole. Hag- oh, not, there it yeah. is. Yeah. So. Oh. Agatha. So, who's been there? I just said the way you say that word, Agatha. That's how you say it? That's how I say it. Really? It's mm-hmm. in Guam, anyways. I don't know. I read it. And That's the way I read it. seconds now. Currently. You don't like the way I read it? Then fire me. Man. I, Stop. I don't know. Stop the chat. Right don't I, don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't care. It is 81 degrees. Where? Say that name. Agatha. <laughs> Agatha. Agatha. <clears throat> 81 degrees, that's uh, correct. Uh, and sunrise is at yeah. 6.27 a.m. Wow, Sunset at 5.51 p.m. Day length is 11 hours, 24 minutes. Ooh. Moon is at 18.4%. But who gives a shit? Hey. Yeah. I do, yeah. obviously. I said it but all. But Vincent, oh, we spend a lot. Hey, this is, this is the 420 report. Yeah. But do you buy the buzz? Beaver, yeah, where you have to unlearn hey, listen, what is not you true. Your ready? No. Light it. Light it. <laughs> Light it. Smoke them if you got them. You can't force me to do anything, you bully. Do it. <laughs> okay, you, you can force me to do that. Never mind. Thank you. And that's today's 420 report. It is that time, loose girl. What did we get anyways? We got uh, Carnival, Carnival Bud. Yes. Oh. And thank you, smart ass. He mm. fires up the bubbler and passes it around. Vanna White says thanks. And Barman passes out the charts. So what are we going to do about all, this, all these <clears throat> senators that get lifetime pensions uh, and lifetime nothing. medical benefits and lifetime every fucking thing? For for stealing there. for stealing from the public. Wow, <clears throat> just makes my makes my nerves hurt. You're not even American anymore, so you got to mm-hmm. shut your mouth. Well, yeah, they got the same crap over here in the long run. It's just a, a softer, <coughs> it's a softer, nicer version of, of <coughs> bigger monster. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Oops. If I felt threatened, I'd probably go to Portugal. I think Portugal would be pretty good. What do you think? I have to take my Danish wife to Portugal. What do you think, honey? No, she don't want to go to Portugal. She wants to stay in Denmark. Damn it. Are are you, will you be called a Danishist now? I don't know. I like Denmark. No, I've got, there's, I have (coughs) acquaintances. Let's get this down. But I've had, I have acquaintances that I met when I first got here that I, they're still friendly and still nice when I run into them at their jobs. And nobody's killed you yet? Absolutely not. I ran into a couple of bullies yes, yesterday, I think it was. Really? What'd yeah. they do? Annoyed the shit out of me walking up behind, so I slowed down. <laughs> what? what? What were they doing to you? Just being teenagers, just annoying teenagers. What? I was an annoying teenager. I just had a. What card did you do? You I had a down card. What happened? Nothing. Did they pass you? Oh yeah, of course they did. Did you, Did you like creep up on them and shit? No, no, no. I didn't oh. do anything. I was just noticing that they were being obnoxious teenagers. What? Did I break a rule, Vinny? I don't know. I'm observing and reporting to you, and then you don't uh, seem to understand what I am trying to convey. 
Well, you said that you had two bullies trailing you yesterday. Well, I mean, no, you interpreted that, that like way. Walking. I said huh? there was two annoying teenagers walking behind me. And no, you they, said bullies, and I said I bullies. like bullies. Maybe I said yeah. bullies, but I didn't. Yeah. I didn't. Annoying. They were just kids. Yeah. Well, when I say I like bullies, I mean I like running into bullies. But I've been you, yeah, but I've had this really peaceful out in the country thing for years now. So the slightest little <coughs> twist to one side or the other, and I'm boom, I'm very aware of it. It just got my attention. If I lived in the city, I would have never even fucking noticed. Are you kidding me? It took a lot to get my attention where I'm from. But here I am where I spend a lot of time. When I'm walking, there's not people around. So when there are people around, they get my attention. Are you, uh, re let's see if if I can bring it into context. The, the word make it, like you can make it there. Right? Make it. What do you mean? Have you, what does that uh, bring to mind to you? You can make it. If you can make it, you can make it there specifically. Hmm. And that would be particular places. Hmm. Like what What does that bring? What place does that bring? Bring to mind in your mind. <laughs> New York, because New York, yeah, yeah that's what Sinatra, that's, yeah. Uh -huh. But I did it. I did it in New York too. I did it in every city I ever went to. Big city, fine. The small towns, those were a little bit rougher. Had to settle for a lot less financially to survive in a small place. But in the big cities, it's easier to get work. That would make you money. Yeah. So depending on my, you know, greed level at a time of year, what I wanted to do with my my time, that's <laughs> it's hard to explain, I guess. But depending on where I was at too at the time. But one time I got this bug up my ass when I was in San Francisco. I wanted to drive an airport shuttle for this particular company. I just had I don't know why. So I went to the place and said, "Hey, if I get my driver's license, will you guys give me a job driving a van? They said, do you know um, Do you know any part of the city? And I told them the part I lived in. And they had a, a, a service from South, the South San Francisco airport into different parts of the city, depending on the van that you got into. So my deal was to run people from the airport to the Richmond district that I lived in. So I knew where all the streets were. Instead of learning a whole new area where I wasn't familiar and breaking in, they just figured that that would be the best way to do it. Mm. And it worked. I got the job. I, and I knew my area. I knew how to drive. Uh, it was only, only like 15 miles from the city to the airport anyway. I wasn't that far. I can't remember. I might have been 12, something like that. But you got to drive south down 101 to get to the airport. And uh, they had in the day that I'm talking about, they had the green airport shuttle, and then they had this blue airport shuttle. And I can't remember which one color was. The one that I, I can't remember the company name or none of that. But it was <laughs> two choices, and I went with one of them, got the job, and, and lived my dream. And the, and through the the uh, adventures of being a, a driver, one day. And it really kind of paid off to me now as I sit here at my age today looking back on, on it. It was a nice thing to do for somebody. So I had a woman had left her wallet in the truck when I, the last drop I had. So the, I get a radio call. The guy says, call me up on the payphone. I got a problem. So he says, hey, somebody called up and said they think they left their wallet in your truck. Go look. Yep, here it is. He says, can you drive back to him? I said, sure can. Drove back. And she gave me 20 bucks for bringing her money when, without stealing it. You know. How and much she, money? I don't know. I never opened the wallet. I just had oh. gone to the place, dropped them off, left, got a call, stopped, got you know, told to go back there. So it was like a couple of blocks. Man, I had an adventure. And that I night in Vegas, uh, I lost my phone in a cab. And this was the <laughs> night that... Uh, Listen, yeah. this is the night that I had called into Real Liberty Media uh, after the uh, the Las Vegas shooting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. Well, man, I, I got off and and the crossovers, right, and then I missed it, and I was like, ah, oh, man, I can just walk across the street and hop over there where I need to be. It turned into an adventure that put me off in 
way off in an industrial part of town. Then it spills into like where the hookers are at. So then you got all that element. And uh, I was like, man, I just get me a taxi over to bus stop. Well, I get a taxi and I get out and I drop my phone and I go, oh no, I'm trying to get somebody to let me use their phone <clears throat> to call my phone so I can get the cab driver. And it was like, People weren't really uh, believing like, you. Yeah, yeah, sure. That's what you want to do. Yeah. <clears throat> something I don't know. Well, <clears throat> that was an adventure. Yeah. But you, hey, here's something them? that I'm working on. What? Let, let me. What? This is uh, this is for Hal. <coughs> uh, this is from uh, Ryan Haas uh, on uh, Oregon uh, OPB dot org. Hmm. In this case, puts a fundamental question to the courts: Can a horse sue a person? So I'm working, I'm working with mixed metaphors here, uh, and, and uh, one, of course, is uh, a horse is a horse is a horse, of course, unless it's uh, got a friend of the court uh, filing a brief to give it personhood. Same thing happened to the river. So can you lead or beat a dead horse or beat a horse to water or lead it to water? And make a drink. Well, I guess you've got to ask the river now because the Klamath River has been uh, given personhood. Make any sense? I, I don't really know what to tell you about that one. Uh, you kind of went too far with it. You know, you can lead a horse to water. Uh, See, well, that's why I'm working on it. It's an old right metaphor. Now. Well, all, all it means is, you know, force doesn't work. It's just I'm a long gonna, way around that. I'm gonna get the you know I'm gonna get the uh, link for it here, but that's the way uh, I, I interpret I've, it. I've been trying to come. Yeah, I've not got it put together. Being very clever, but of course you've got to have the horses, of course, and then you got to have the uh, metaphor leading the horse to water, and then the conflict. See, with the river, I mean, can the horse drink of the river hmm. that has personhood, or does it have to have personhood first? I mean, right? It's it's very deep. Very deep. Wow, right? how? how? You're talking deep. about a horse. Well, listen, what, what's there to know? Happening. Well, I'm dropping would, the link. Yeah, but check it, this out. I gotta get this to how. Okay, but st see, you go with all these people's opinions about a specific fucking thing. It's a legal system. Uh, right? Okay, thing. right. And this goes. It becomes legal, and then what? Right, and that's well, what I mean. This is why I'm not for this. You got rules that they pound you with. And I'm now not listen, for it. They were, they were really bad. They treated this horse bad, horse badly. They did. Yeah. Had they had frostbite on parts of his uh, appendage, it had to be removed. Read the story. Right now, now we're kind of not busy. Now. Now. Not you. Well, there you go. Shut up. And put it. That's in, it. Let me put a copy in the notes for the podcast. I opened it. Hey, what happened now? There's Moosey, she got a good one. Hmm. You can lead a person to the truth, but you can't make them think. It's a good one. Well, and then that's all relative to the person doing the talking. You know? We all think we're right whenever we think we're right, whoever we are. And who is? Maybe we're all wrong. That that always pisses off somebody. Oh, I I'm going to copy that. And, uh, what if we're all wrong? There is no right to shit. It's just a bunch of shit. It is non-ending shit that you could do without, but you don't know that. So you keep participating in it. Could that possibly be? <laughs> I don't know. Can a horse sue a person? <laughs> well, no. You'd need a lawyer to make <coughs> the decision. So no, a Our horse, friend, a horse would court. never have the wherewithal to do a thing like that. It would take a person to do it. So you no. You're poor. Crazy. Or Pecker hanging there. Just like the, the argument about can you sue God? I think somebody did that, didn't they, one time? Yeah, the professor took God to court in Nebraska, I believe it was. I don't know what you'll find on the internet now. There's so much. You know, we have a lot of people that have a sense of humor that know how to put shit there that ain't true. And put it in ways that's very, like the story about the lemons. It's so logical and makes such good sense. That sounds possible. Sure. But where you know, where does the individual draw the line with something sounding possible to 
something sounding like it's true. So they, they kind of chip at our ability to say no over life by not allowing you to say no. So you never get used to saying no to people. You go, oh, okay, I'll do that. When you don't want to, because you don't know how to fucking say no. <laughs> Just you, say no. Hey, right, what happened? Just I say no to thugs. I mean drugs. Just hugs. say what no. Wait, wait, hey, Grimner says no to hugs. It depends on the person hugging. Some people I don't want them touching. A handshake will do. Mm. Some people a handshake would be going too far. Keep the damn distance, gorilla boy. I don't want you putting your paws on me, sport. Thank you very much. Uh, go away, oh, I'm busy, oh. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Are you a I lover of all this. people, you big gorilla? Dog wants underneath the thing. <clears throat> Okay, hold on. I I was I heard somebody holler at me. I'll come back here in a second. Mm. Let me let me tell you this part here. This is uh uh where'd it go? Here it is. The agricultural group jointly filed uh, a friend of the court brief on November the seventh. <laughs> now, friend of the court, um, this is a way of coming in as uh, not being a member of the bar, and uh, I think this became popularized and perhaps this idea came about here. Because of the uh, Oregon standoff up there, the uh, Mayor Refuge uh, occupation, uh, people there were doing that. Uh, um, let's see, I'm thinking in particular in Vegas, also friend of the court briefs filed by uh, uh, the uh, crap. I forget its name. It'll come to me, and then I'll say it later. But anyways, there's that. No, I'm coming back to chat. All right, I give it back to you. Yeah, can a horse to a person? No, because yeah. the horse cannot speak. So there, there you go. No words. No, you got to have a lawyer talk for you. So where does the lawyer get his information from? A horse? I don't think so. Thank you, Missy. Uh, it's a good no, story. The river. Oh, uh, here we go. See, so the uh, river runs through it. I, I would like to make like a multiple mix metaphor out of all this stuff here. Um, That'd be clever. But I've been pondering it over in my uh, brain matter up here, and I've not got it clever enough. Cleverly well, enough. Vincent. Cleverly. Haha, <laughs> get it, Lucy, cleverly. But you know what I do to survive the rules of wherever I go because I go to places where I'm not familiar? How how do I keep surviving in a society that you – know, without Chatting very carefully. Yeah. No. I'm not a careful guy. I just wander through. I'm not I'm not doing anything to, in my mind. I'm not doing anything special. I'm just going through just like you are. So, so you just abide by these unwritten rules yeah, that uh, yeah. are, just make sense? Common, like don't go screwing people over? Common, yeah, common sense. Just treat people the way you want to be treated. And just don't ever forget that there's mean fuckers out there that don't play that way. But recognize them. Don't don't engage them in your business and your adventures, and you can choose to. It's a choice you make. That's how I feel about my experience with this topic. Is I engage the people I want to engage, and the people I don't want to engage, I don't. It's my decision to make. It's my life, man. See, that, there's the freedom in life. Is what little freedom we have, we get to pick and choose who we associate with freely, that much is, to a point, it's got some freedom attached to it. Because you can pick your friends, and you can pick your nose, but you can't pick your friend's nose. That's a lie. Unless they're really your friends. See, that's what I mean. The real friends are very, it's a very individual private thing. It's not like everybody that you know is close to you like a friend. Some people are acquaintances that you encounter and you participate with them. But you don't break bread or, you know, watch football or movies or whatever. You just know them. And those little interactions, when they're good, it kind of seems to balance things to me. You know, gets you to the next thing and you're just... Uh, I try to stay on a on a like a balance where I'm not going too extreme in any direction. And the only way it really changes things is if I drink. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, the al- alcohol can change the personality. Where pot, nah, pot doesn't do that. Alcohol does that. <whistles> Boy, <laughs> but weed shit. I don't think so. And it seems to calm most of us down to a point of not wanting to be violent. Where alcohol increases the violent status in our mind. You get to a point. At drinking, where it's like, fuck yeah. <laughs> well, I'm I'm the same drunk or sober, but I'd say there'd be times drunk where I would uh, maybe uh, use less restraint. See, exactly. And the more I get drunk, the happier I seem to get until I don't yeah, get my too. way. But then I've heard until uh, you it's... hear the word no, and then all of a sudden you're not nice anymore. <laughs> yeah, I go wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened to me so, last night. Well. That so, then it's my position that I stay out of that. Not them. Stay, they're going to be what they are, no matter if I'm drinking or not. So I have to control me, not them. Yeah. And yeah. Well, don't let your feelings get involved in political debates in the first place. Who cares? Yeah. He, he but got he did. Hard yeah. Up real bad. Yeah. Why? Like, You're not on my team. Oh, who here? We fucking go. Live on the same fucking street. And doesn't understand we that. We don't live on a street. Okay. Well, I was being, I was using it as a point of reference. I know. I, know. I just, I was just giving you, <laughs> Mister Smack. But I Smack think that's Smack. okay. Here, where I live, maybe it's the street I'm on. I don't know. But we've had people move in and out over the years that we've been here. But the core of it has stayed the same. And uh, the people here get along very pretty well. They mind their own damn business for the most. Like we got some, uh, one neighbor plays loud music, windows open, and everybody else just closes their windows and turns their shit up instead of complaining about it. You know? Now, if it goes on late in the night, and get, kids got, got to get up for school the next day or people got to work or whatever it is. We have another neighbor that gets out there and yells to shut the fuck down. <laughs> and they do. It, it's amazing how the neighborhood just takes care of itself. If you just leave it alone, don't try to control it. But we have, you know, there's there's a uh, like a hierarchy of people that have lived here for a period of time. And, you know, they're in charge. Right. And whether, you know, whether it's written by the government or not, that's the reality of it. And, you know, your neighbors will tell you these are the things we do in this neighborhood. And they'll be done. And there'll be very few little things, but it's for the good of everyone in the long run to go along with what they want. And they want so fucking little that it's not an inconvenience to to be asked. It's just weird. (laughs) Because I'm from the desert. But I would recommend uh, living in a small place. I don't know about the place. I think that would be relative to the person. Some people would prefer like a warm climate. And there's lots of places with a really warm climate and small populations as well. Just like, you know, just like the cold places. I'd like to live on an island in the tropics. Why? Island living is rough. If you need shit like food and supplies. Well, Whoa. I want to have all that stuff, you know, where you could pertain it yourself or, you know, uh, do it for yourself. In the 21st century, live up yeah. to, you know, with Internet Whoops. and the whole thing or what? Come back here. Yeah. Satellite, all that crap. See, and I think the exact opposite. If I was going to live on an island, I would want to be shut off from all this fucking insanity. Enough, you know. Like, well, leave me the fuck okay alone. But, I mean, it depends on how... Far, if you want to go as like off grid, I just like uh, all the stuff that you can grow there. Well, there's... I watch a lot of videos on uh, like people that live in other countries and islands and nations, and from India to to Guam. And there's plenty of it too. Cambodia, how the people live there. Because the... I've come across them that pissing me off because they're like what? faking like there's some a- animalistic in how they move and how they eat, and it's like who and. It, and then they stage the the uh, the scenes. They fake it, and it's like 
come on, man, just show how life is there. That, but they got this Hollywood grandiose idea or something, and they, yeah. you know, that I quit watching those people because it kind of made me mad. Uh, Some guy in uh, India, yeah. Yeah. doing what? Um, well, hunting and fishing and trapping and uh, eating food. Hmm. Yeah. That sort of thing. Well, building, uh, building housing, you know, out of natural materials. Well, it's still just amazing. The bungalow. Me. The, uh, the bungalow. The there's land. more land than there is people to occupy it. But we got all these problems. that, And the problems, I think, all come from people being too greedy and wanting to control shit that's none of their fucking business. Do you realize with all the different fruits that you don't even know about? Sure. To grow? How can you? How that could I? Yeah. Unknown, uh, right. Unknown, but I mean, I'm unknown. aware. I'm aware. Ah, I'm messing with you. I'm aware yeah. enough to know that there's places I haven't been that things that's happen. That's a known. I mean. That's an unknown. <laughs> okay, rub spell. <laughs> We have the known knowns, and we have the unknown knowns. And, of course, the unknown, known, unknown, known. <clears throat> Fucking con men. How, and people put up with this shit. I don't... Uh, oh, fuck me, I don't understand it. Since Nixon, I've been watching this, this constant parade of baboons and idiots get up in front of the people and claim to be the president. And every fucking thing they sell, tell you is a bunch of shit. Forty fucking years. Of, well, fifty now. Fifty years of this. And the last bit's been with <laughs> Donald Trump. <laughs> hey. Donald fucking Trump is... I leave America and this is what you guys fucking do? You put Donald Trump in the White House? I can't leave you guys alone <laughs> For a couple of years without you fucking up everything. <laughs> That's what you should have done. You should have told your friend that it was my fault for leaving. Or yeah, I can him. blame him. Yeah. <laughs> go, to, go to Denmark if you don't like it, buddy. Hey, he really let... That was a huge insult, to politically. To uh, And then the way he behaved afterwards, telling people that the... the, the uh, Prime Minister of Denmark's a nasty woman. Wow, because she wouldn't do your bidding, she's nasty. So what? No, I thought the response was kind of well written and you know polite. No, thank you. But Trump, oh, what an idiot! He's representing fucking idiots. Sad. 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 Well, Alone or together? Well, Listen, I, yeah. here's a there's this author. Uh, that does uh, zombie, what? really a really great job, uh, and then records them to YouTube so you can listen to them for <laughs> free. It's called, it's called yeah. uh, you, you Will Be Afraid, and then on Twitter the handle is at We Will Be Afraid. Um, wow. Pitching <laughs> shit, huh? Yeah, this author, I, I really It doesn't like matter word. how you listen, say that, well, news. I, I, Give me a fucking Hold on. I, I'm, I'm saying this stuff so that Selected, I can... Selected, elected, you know, I, have, I have more set, No, more stuff. Say I got two things. This is a on Twitter. You will be afraid. He said, "I know what it means to be alone," and I said, "Together, I think we all do. To be alone, right, separately, together, or not. What do you think?" Uh, what do I think? All right. Here's the one. Here's another one. Mm. He says, yeah. uh, "We can get into it." Mm. For so many, the worst thing to happen in this frigid world is to be ignored. And I said, no, not really. I don't think so. I, I said, alone or in a crowd? Is my response. Oh, well, still, but sometimes the person ignoring you is doing you a favor. Maybe you I know, should have put a question mark. The realities mix, don't mix well. People think that the, the reality for all of us is the same. Instead of each person has their own version of reality. They won't allow you that. That's where I thought you were going with your rule thing. Because you weren't you weren't allowing me to engage the way I want to engage. You were making rules. You got to do it with like this. I'm like, oh, fuck you. I'll do it like I want to. You're going to come up with your answer no matter how I behave. 
no matter how I say my side or whatever the fuck it is, you're going to hear what you want to hear any fucking way. So it doesn't matter about your damn rules, Vincent. What matters is the enforcement of your rules. That's when life gets real. <clears throat> okay, See? look at it like this. What? Now, uh, and I was thinking about this earlier. Mm -hmm. All right, you and I, we, you and I, okay, yeah, I remember. You and I do a show together on uh, Tuesdays in a perfect world, contrasting the occupation. So we choose, I mean, I can't say, I, you got to do this. You got to follow <laughs> No, you don't. You don't. But right. you say and, it. And if it, I yeah. don't like it, yeah. then I cannot do the show with you, right? And you have and, to. Yeah. Well, no, that had nothing to do with that. Oh, well, it seemed like now, it did. Now Friday. Okay. No, I didn't. Oh, well, that's comforting. Friday. I feel better now. Friday, Friday hmm. I do my show, and I have rules, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can't say fuck. Yeah, no, I, I, I realize that. But I've done yeah. that. I've, well, that's why right. I don't come and on I your show. It, and so I've given you pardon on it, yeah. right? Because yeah. that's my choice. Yeah, yeah. Right? Still so your rule. I could rule. go edit yeah. it if I wanted to. Oh, oh yeah. I don't make more work that. for myself. I, yeah. I'm lazy. I'm not going to go edit it. So your point is your rules, We've even though they're rules. right, but even though you talk about them, they're still suggestions rather than if you don't do this, I'm going to punish you. That's what, how I interpret the concept of a rule, not a guideline. Be you know, be reasonable with everybody and do it between here and here. Don't <laughs> don't go out into the parking lot with a knife. That's stupid. Stay just you know within these boundaries. But now let me uh, hmm. let me put this before you here at Real Liberty Media. I uh, I hold ourselves collective collectively to uh, certain standards, uh, high standards, right? So that's your opinion. Okay. Well, do, is that not what we represent? Here? No, that with is the, what with you the big o, no. with the big O A. No, that's Real you, Liberty that's, Media. The big O A for Rock, you won't capital. you won't allow me my opinion. I think it's how you see it. I see it how I see it, and that's not well, how I see it. No. What do you see it as then? Not what you see it as. Something different. It's not. It's not well, how I explain it. But well, that's what. That's what you seem to see, but not me. It's I don't serious to me. Hey, I mean, it's okay. Not, nah. I'm not some guy in a chat room, right? Well, sir, see, there you go. What the fuck does that even mean, serious to you? I'm just doing it's shit, like my Danny. friend last night calling me a Democrat. So what? Get over it. But I'm just saying, I just do shit, and that's it. If it has oh, a meaning, it's not intentional. I'm just living a life yeah. and saying things and doing <clears throat> things. But you to, have certain standards, right? I keep my yeah, I keep my hands off you, other people. Yeah, simple stuff. There you go. I don't I don't steal, uh, I don't lie openly about certain things that matter. You know, the the old like uh what color is this thing over here and not look and say a color is lying. But I do that to get out of answering. <laughs> but I wouldn't tell somebody that I I thought I had an opinion about a certain other person that stands the test of time and you can't prove me wrong and all that horse shit. That's all illusion. You can't. That's the bit shoot up for Freaker's Ball. You cannot prove anything to anyone they don't want to believe. It's simple as that. You've got to be a willing participant to the information that you're receiving. And if you're not willing to understand whatever's coming at you, you see it differently, there there it ends. Next. There you go. And we all... Yeah, I see, think that's pretty good. But we all have this imaginary right to ignore the fucking reality in front of us because we're free to choose. Instead of being told this is the absolute goddamn truth about something, we get stories and lies and settle for them. And it's very sad. If you call that a successful society, I say... <laughs> all of you and the people that i think agree with me are the ones that have been, you know, been you know checking in with the show over the time okay, and it's a, it's i got a, to have clarification it's not a very it's popular seen. opinion Vince. yeah no, well it's not. there you go seeing seeing what you were saying there it's a c with the a in the middle <laughs> the and cap logo yeah well I, you know, <coughs> we've broken that word apart, anarchy, and I am an anarchy. Mm -hmm. 
so yeah. Ar- so I'll get it. And Arky, and I like to put it all together, uh, Ozarkian and Arcus. Yeah. See, you keep saying the important part, which is you like to do things and you mm-hmm. take it this way. And mm-hmm. how you take it, it, and if other people don't agree with you, does that mean that you're not right? What then is, I'm going to talk about it. But you, I'm not going to allow somebody to talk to me uh, mm-hmm. irresponsibly. I mean, in proper discussion, because I don't, I don't argue and don't debate. Now, if we're going to have a, a discussion, then we need to make clarifications. It's like, how do you call me a Democrat? Because you're not a Republican. <laughs> See, and wow. those, okay, and those concepts fall under common sense to me. That's so yeah. to need to have that explained is very well. <clears throat> it's. Uh, <coughs> It's not a good thing. I don't know what to call it. I don't like to sit yeah. in judgment of what I call uh, ignorance, but it's not stupid. It's it's the lack of information. And sometimes the person isn't capable of understanding the shit you have to tell them in the first place. It's very complicated. It's not as black and white as I'd like it to be, Vincent. I'm very disturbed. Very disturbed. <clears throat> very disturbing. Now let me let me make two points here. Okay. All right. So end of the door table. Five huh? minutes. Okay. Uh, Democrats, Republicans, mm. apples, oranges. <laughs> All right. There's more fruits, but <laughs> what do most Americans eat? Apples, oranges. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Democrats, Republicans. What controls really the p- political party? This uh, illusion of the two party system. You throw the third party in there, and it's to castrate uh, from the wholeness of that two party. To, to pull people away from one particular uh, 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 side of the party perspective, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, because you got so, moderates and alt, what are the alt, uh, what, the alt ones, what's that? All, all whatever they are, yeah, the green party, stream well, and the yeah. light green and but the right dark. The meat. fact is, Americans eat more apples and oranges and other fruits, and most people, most Americans are either a Democrat or Republican. And the fact of the matter is that that, that two-party system is the uh, um, what fuels it, that uh, supposedly gives it authenticity. Well, I, if you believe it, you believe Yeah, but Vinny, look at how hard it is to, to look at that and not see it as a reality. You look like a dork. That's well, what we're here for. Because I'm going to tell you what you're going to get the next election <sighs> cycle. Oh, yeah. You're going to get Reruns. the majority or will be uh, either an apple or an orange and an occasional grape. <laughs> okay, Mr. Trump. So are you going to be hailing Trump's I can't see. I can't see uh, him winning again. Why not? Just, who, and who cares? What? How can people be... It can does. You, it, I mean, he didn't win the last one. What the fuck difference does it make? He was. Can you get unstupid? It doesn't matter what the public fucking wants, crazy man. I don't you get that yet? In all this big performance, it, it's it's another way to also keep the women in line because they they were looking for their first woman, POTUS, and they didn't get it, so they got fucked by men again. <laughs> just, it keeps the illusion of the gender split at that financial and political level alive because they they need that that's a great weapon to have well we'll pay the women a little bit less because they're not as serious about being politicians (laughs) you know (laughs) anyway we're are you there did i kill (laughs) you uh Uh, some of the religious stuff makes me laugh and not the not the, uh, you know what makes me laugh what? is people that, that mm-hmm. in their own strong belief that they hold so dear that they tell another that their belief is not uh, – has no credibility. And, oh, and yeah. The, and they yeah. do that yeah. with the deniability with their own ideology. Yeah. Well, I think Prove that it. whatever – I say that whatever a person believes is true to them, so it doesn't matter – all this word banner is just to keep the argument alive. It doesn't. It doesn't fucking matter if you keep your fucking hands off other people and you don't steal their shit and you don't tell them lies about you know whatever. You get through life in, in a more comfortable fashion. That's all. 
that's my my opinion of how I see the world. The less harm you do, the less harm you get. Yeah, I think so. And bad Every things. Every time up against the uh, the end of the. Oh the, yeah, that's why I was sure. harping on. But bad things uh, happen to good people all the time, so it's got nothing sure. to do with the duality. It right. just got to do with the you turn left or you turn right. Who the fuck knows? And so they do it. And we some people, in world yeah, world's you get, in danger. You get stuck thinking that your routine is the right one, though. See, huh? It's all a matter of hey, man, find a routine yeah. you like, and, and then you can't be talked out of it. That's the whole point: is whatever you believe is what you believe, and other people supporting it or, or disagreeing with it. That shouldn't rock you one way or the other. You should be used to it. Yeah. Thanks, hey, everybody. I gonna, hey, I want to close out yeah. saying that the uh, jawbone of an ass is a devastating weapon. <laughs> guard your words. Guard your words. <laughs> Vinny, thanks a lot for coming along to the dark table today on Thank Saturday, 30th of November. This is the last November day. This was Cert's birthday month. So now we got another year to go. Whoops. Happy uh, birthday. Day. But, uh, hey, Moose well, Girl's birthday's coming up Friday the 13th. Oh, December. December. Okay, there's yeah. two weeks to go for that. Then. And that'll be on a Friday night. Then, won't it? Friday the 13th. Yeah. yeah. Well, I. Will she, be, yeah. will she be freaking the ball, y'all, or will she be out there uh, out, kicking her heels? Yeah, probably being being juicy and loosey if she she's lucky, I suppose. Ooh, ooh, but uh, anyway, thanks a lot, Grimner. If you guys thanks wanna, up. there's a go to the reallibertymedia dot com. Open up the site. There's a page that tells you all the shows on the radio, and there's a whole shitload of other things to do on the site. They you got a chat room and crazy stuff like that. Thanks a lot, everybody. Bye.